we are asked to simplify the given trig expression. Since there are no obvious substitutions, the only thing we can do is subtract the two fractions by first obtaining a common denominator. Notice how the least common denominator is going to be the product of the two denominators. And therefore, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by the quantity one plus sine x, and we need to multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by one minus sine x. Let's go ahead and set this up. Again, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by one plus sine x. And we multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by the quantity one minus sine x. Notice now we do have a common denominator of the quantity one minus sine x times the quantity one plus sine x. So again, the common denominator is now the factors of one minus sine x and one plus sine x. And the numerator is now going to be two times the quantity one plus sine x minus two times the quantity one minus sine x. And now let's clear the parentheses in the numerator and denominator. In the numerator, we will distribute two here, and then because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing negative two here. Distributing two gives us two plus two sine x. And then distributing negative two gives us negative two plus two sine x, or minus two plus two sine x. And now in the denominator, we will have four products. We distribute the one into the second binomial, and then distribute negative sine x into the second binomial. So one times one is equal to one, and then one times sine x is positive sine x or plus sine x. And then we have negative sine x times one, which gives us minus sine x. And then negative sine x times positive sine x is negative sine squared x, or minus sine squared x. And now let's combine like terms. In the numerator, notice that two minus two is equal to zero. And two sine x plus two sine x is equal to four sine x. In the denominator, sine x minus sine x is zero, leaving us with one minus sine squared x. We can make a substitution for one minus sine squared x though, because sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one. If we subtract sine squared theta on both sides, we can substitute cosine squared theta for one minus sine squared theta, and therefore we can replace one minus sine squared x with cosine squared x. This is equal to four sine x divided by cosine squared x. Instead of leaving this as a quotient though, let's write this as a product. We can write this as four times, let's write sine divided by cosine squared x as sine x divided by cosine x times one over cosine x where we know sine x divided by cosine x is equal to tangent x, and one divided by cosine x is equal to secant x. And therefore, we'll write the final simplified expression as four tangent x times secant x. I hope you found this helpful.